This is Eric of the Journal of Water Junkies, and I want to take a couple moments today to talk to you about journals. It's one of the biggest questions that David and I get asked is, what type of journal do we use? So I wanted to share with you the two types that we use. Um, they're not the best, they're definitely not the worst, but uh, we find that journals are a very personal thing. But uh, here I have journal number 15, so this is volume 15 of mine. And this is in a cache classic hardbound sketchbook uh, by Daler around me. Um, the cache have the black leatherette cover, and uh, this is one that I filled a few years ago, and there's lots of good stuff going on in it. And because it's been sitting on the shelf for that for the last few years, it, it really has kind of flattened out the pages. So any journal has its pros and its cons. Um, this journal, it's an 11 by 14 inch journal, and we really like that size. It's bigger than your 8.5 by 11 printer paper. Uh, it kind of gets us out of that size, that 8.5 by 11 size that we're so uh, used to. Um, but it, this paper is a 65 pound sketch paper, so it's on the thin side, but it's not as thin as some other sketchbooks. Um, there are like I said, some cons about it. And actually you can see one right here is that the binding tends to break when you glue all this fodder into it, all this uh, ephemera, all this collage stuff. And so the binding tends to break and sometimes your pages pull apart and sometimes you have to go back and tape or uh, glue them together. But we find that uh, the cache sketchbooks can stand a lot of different materials even though they're primarily for sketching and using with drawing materials. So here we've got a lot of gluing, writing, um, watercolor paint. So a couple things about this type of book though, besides the um, binding breaking, is that the materials can bleed through since the paper is a little bit on the thin side. And I, I don't know if you can really see it on here, but um, there's some ink here from the page behind that is bleeding through. So the ink here has started to bleed through to this side. The other problem is that sometimes near the center of the book, um, watercolor can bleed through the holes where the thread uh, binds the uh, signatures together. Um, but other than that, it, it's pretty good. The paper, if the sizing is right, the, the materials will, will spread a lot. Sometimes with this book, the um, the paint, the water seems just to soak right in and that's because of the sizing. It doesn't allow the paint to kind of sit on the surface. So again, it's kind of a, a bit of a drawback. Another drawback is because it's thinner paper, you often get wrinkles, the paper often buckles. But like I said before, that if you leave it sitting on the shelf or you leave it closed, it has a tendency to flatten out again, um, but it never becomes totally flat. Also, that's because of all the stuff that's glued into it. It really makes it bulky. But again, you can kind of see how some of these things can kind of bleed through that thinner paper. So this is a, a journal that's already been filled. It's been used. And because that binding has broken, you might see here that there's some uh, black tape that, uh, um, um, <clears throat> book repair tape, that holds that binding together so that it, the book doesn't fall apart. But that's what it looks like whenever it is used and this is what it looks like whenever it's brand new. Um, so again, that's the Cache Classic Sketchbook by uh, Daler Rowney and it has a nice bright white paper. Like I said, suitable for a lot of stuff, but it, since it is a 65 pound paper, it's a little bit thin, it can kind of bleed through. So that's the first book and this this sketchbook, I don't use it anymore. David still uses the cache um, hardbound sketchbooks. I've kind of moved on to a different brand, and I like, now I use the same size. So this is still 11 by 14. This is a Strathmore hardbound journal. It is their recycled drawing paper journal. So it's got a dark brown, uh, chocolate brown cover on it, and um, this has a thicker paper than the cache. It is a, an 80 pound drawing paper. 
So you have a little bit less of bleed through on the actual pages. Sometimes things transfer. So what you're seeing here is the black ink transferring or the red ink transferring. Um, but there's a little bit less bleed through. However, sometimes things do bleed through the middle of the book. Um, so wherever you have the signatures and the thread going together, sometimes you will have the paint will bleed through there. But you have a lot less bleed through. Um, and because that paper is a, a good quality 80 pound drawing paper, the, the materials tend to spread a little bit better than the cache. Uh, the pages still buckle and you still might see that the pages look a little bit wrinkled, a little bit buckled, but it's not quite as bad as the um, cache. So that's the main reasons that I changed over to the Strathmore is that uh, the, the paper is a little bit thicker so you have less bleed through and you have uh, less buckling. Um, and then the binding doesn't break as much and, and that actually is tied into a con and one of the big disadvantages of this book is that it only has a hundred pages. The cache has 200 pages so it has a hundred sheets of paper um, and this only has a hundred so uh, you, you get about half as much and they cost about the same amount but I think it's a trade-off you get that better quality paper uh, less bleed through. You can, like I said, see the bleed through at the uh, in the center. So the binding doesn't break as much in these books, even though you, even though I still fill them up with a lot of fodder and, and glue a lot of stuff in. Um, so the binding doesn't break, uh, but that's because there's just less pages. Uh, so what I'm finding is that you know it might take me two books to kind of fill up the same amount of time that I used to only use one of the, the cache. So, um, you know, it, it does have that trade off. But uh, the other thing is that this paper is a slight cream color, so it's not the brightest white paper, um, but it, it's still a really good quality paper. Uh, so that's the Strathmore hardbound recycled drawing paper book. Uh, and this was, I think, volume number um, 20. So this is one that I, I've just kind of finished up not so long ago. And then this is the the um, book brand new. So we've got the uh, chocolate brown cover. And then, um, you know, when you flip through, again, that, that paper looks really bright, looks really white, but it is an 80-pound recycled drawing paper and it has sort of that uh, cream color but that drawing surface is pretty smooth so you can get a lot um, you know very smooth shading and things like that but the paper is heavy enough to accept a lot of wet materials as well so but anyway that kinda sums up the two journals the two sketchbooks that David and I like to use so we like the Strathmore Hardbound Recycled Drawing Paper Journal and the Cache Classic Sketchbook by uh, Daler Rowney. Um, as far as cost, like I said, they cost about the same and what we do is we, we usually look online for sales or sometimes in an art store they'll, you'll find them pretty cheap and we try to buy a bunch of them at, at a time since we use go through them pretty pretty quickly um, but anyway that's just what we like to use and I always say that the choice of a sketchbook of a journal is very very personal so pick what you're comfortable with pick a size that you're comfortable with and try it out so if you don't like it you can always try something else but this is what we like so thank you